video I'll talk about how to use the forum. So you can either uh, access it through the community uh, menu item here or this button here. And just click on it. Now the forum uh, and community activities, there's quite a few of them available to you in the options. The community live stream, which is coming from the forum topics, uh, is available here. And this is like a Facebook post. Uh, Facebook post feed so you'll see that there are comments happening in the forum and uh, you can go straight to the actual forum topic or the actual uh, topic high level um, uh, oh, I'm not too sure what what's called but it's the high level uh, subjects so you'll see them here so this is the topic <coughs> relating to uh, frequently asked questions and to do's or you can actually go straight to the actual uh, forum topic here and that's the topic so you can just uh, type in your reply there now if you want to um, look at the actual forum topics so like the one that we've just went into ask questions or frequently asked questions to do's and those are things you can it's another way of getting access to it and again you can select that and then you can scroll down you can read the latest topics there or you can uh, create your own topic uh, and then obviously remember to select the submit button press it there uh, this will all work on uh, it's mobile responsive so it'll all work on your mobile phone quite happily and it looks a little bit like that all right and obviously when you go into the topics you can see specific topics There they are there and you can then read them on your mobile all right all right so um, then uh, the other uh, components of the community we've got the forum the community live stream your community profile so this is where you update your uh, avatar or your um, uh, image within your profile so you can just change the uh, profile photo here uh, by clicking on this link and you just drop an image into here uh, or you can take a photo if you're on the phone uh, or you can delete your image and the same with the cover image that's in that image there and those images will display in your uh, in the feed the community live feed so you see that my image is there some people haven't updated their image here Peter Ferris for example but you'll see some people have oh, nobody's updated their image oh well it'd be great if you could um, and uh, so that, that's where that image is shown uh, there's other things that you can do in the community profile as well so you can uh, also edit your base name sometimes people uh, put their email address in here which I wouldn't recommend but you can change that so you just uh, go edit and that'll allow you to change uh, your avatar um, name all right uh, and you can go into the forums here okay and that goes straight into the forums it's another way of getting to the forums the notifications option here gives you notifications if somebody's replied to one of your forum posts uh, then you'll find that uh, these notifications will show up here. Obviously, your profile is where you edit your profile. And activity shows you all the activity that, that uh, you've been doing on the forum. So uh, you can see my activity on the updates and posts that I've made there, obviously, with my avatar image. All right. So we'll just go back. All right, so it's community profile. The meet and socialize provides uh, up-to-date information on what's happening uh, with uh, meeting up with other riders so you can certainly um, you can post a post on the forum to invite other people to rides so you see that people here are posting um, uh, posts on the forum to invite other people for various rides um, and the training camps we've got our bright boot camp which is our training camp where a lot of people a lot of our members uh, do meet catch up so it's our Bright Boot Camp there, our training camp in Bright. We run two of those a year. Uh, we have done some informal dinners uh, and social rides and stuff. We'll update details here when they happen. And then uh, you can join us on our Facebook, Twitter and YouTube channels uh, with these links here. And we'll just go back. And the Cycling Informed Strava Club. So in here, 
we do have a Cycling Inform Strava Club. Um, so you can uh, click on this link to join the Strava Club. We'll just open it up in a new new panel here. Uh, and you'll see we've got a few members here. You can see the leaderboards for this week and last week. Uh, and you can also then uh, look at uh, the members. You can um, check to see um, the recent activity with our clients, with our members in here. All right, and also uh, what we've also done here is we've created cycling form segments. So these are segments, common segments within various areas that you can benchmark yourself against other members and just see where you are on the leaderboard. So you see that this is a leaderboard for the one and twenty, and you can just scroll down to the cycling and form club, and you'll see the leaderboard for that particular segment. So we're uh, we're keen to build this out. We've obviously just started with these and we're keen to build these out. So if you've got any segments in your area and in your country that you'd like to include in this list, all you need to do is click here to contact us and we'll uh, add that to the Cycling Inform segments, the official Cycling Inform segments. So that uh, gives you a little bit of information about the social, um, social component of our members area and how to uh, navigate it and to uh, discuss topics and uh, communicate and engage with the other members on our uh, training centre. So thanks for watching.